Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Bischoff, General Manager here in GWL. Oh, now, I am here today hey, because we are just coming off cash in one of our bigger pay-per-views here in GWL. And as the new General Manager coming in here, first pay-per-view, I will have full control over the match card here. Now, oh, most of this is going to be continuing off what happened at cash in. However, I am going to be making some changes in some uh, new kind of matches you see. Uh, to, you'll see at our next pay per view. Now, uh, first, I have noticed that uh, there's been a lack of tag team action around here. So, to start out the show, we will have a tag, an invitational tag team battle royal. Any tag team on the roster is free to enter in this battle royal, and the winner will become the new number one contenders for or FTR's tag team titles, who will be at ringside attending to see who their new opponents will be. Now next, uh, I did notice that uh, there was some animosity between three men in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Seth Rollins, Kenny Omega, and CM Punk. So to s hopefully settle and squash this, as we will have a triple threat match between uh, those three men to see... To get uh, get that animosity out, so we don't have any other problems in the future, and the winner may receive a title shot in the future. But um, we'll see how that goes for them. But after that, we also still have some more title matches afterwards. Whereas, um, after defending successfully defending his United States title, you know, Keith Lee was. Interrupted at, during a celebration by one Bobby Lashley. And Bobby Lashley uh, issuing the challenge to Keith Lee for the, his United States Championship. And he will be given that opportunity. It will be Bobby Lashley taking on Keith Lee for the United States Championship. After that, we also, also similar thing with the X-Division title. Darby Allen being attacked by Christian Cage and Edge. And Christian Cage will be given the title opportunity. Mm. And then after that, well, our world, he world champion, John Moxley, uh, he had issued out an open challenge to anybody. He had directly told me an open challenge to anybody to challenge him for his championship. And, well, hang on. Well, it looks like someone overheld me, and he's looking to make that challenge. Well, folks, it seems that this member of the bloodline, Umaga, will be taking on John, accepting John Moxley's challenge. As well, this definitely is probably going to be because of what Moxley did to Roman Reigns at Kramania Five, and well, Umaga. Uh, and, uh, you, you've got it, sir. You've got your world title match with John Moxley. Man of little words, I guess. But anyways, we do also have some more words from the previous competitors we've mentioned. We'll, um, we'll, uh, play their interviews now from, uh, from, uh, when they were told. Can we, uh, cut to that, guys? Well, you may be wondering... What does Kenny Omega have against a C or CM Punk? Well, it's it's something about his attitude, I'd say. He walks around here thinking he's the uh, best in the world. And Punk, you uh, last time you held a title here, this company wasn't even televised. Now I may have m most of my title reign may have not been televised either. However, at least I had the end of mine televised. These people have seen. Me hold championship gold in this company. And right now, while they're seeing me hold some gold again, you're a your Trios champions and bucks. I promise you this. Once I'm done with CM Punk, we will, we will defend these Trios titles. I was like there's no tomorrow. We will take any, any trio, any six man that wants to come after us for these titles. But first, I have to deal with one... CM Punk, and you know what, with with our new general manager Eric Bischoff throwing in a, a title opportunity, well, I might take that opportunity and try and get some more gold around my waist. 
Phil. Phil, 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 Phil. I'm not even going to address you by your wrestling name. You don't deserve that. You're scum, Phil. I did what I did to cash into you because I hate everything you stand for. You are nothing. You're scum. And that's this next pay-per-view. I'm making it short and sweet here. I'm getting straight to the point. I am going to break you. You are going to be nothing when I'm done with you. That little title opportunity that Eric's talking about, that's just a little bonus for me. My goal, Phil, is to hurt you. Well, it seems two people around here, they have a problem with me. And, well, they, uh, they addressed it all right by beating, beating me down. Yeah, I'll give them that. They, uh, they weren't, they weren't quiet about it. And they settled in the ring, but they still have a problem with me. And I am going to make sure that they know why I call myself the best in the world. And it's not just because it's a catchphrase. It's not just because it sells merchandise. It's because it's true. It is because it is a statement. And I prove that again when I beat two of the best in the industry. And no matter what title Eric Eric Bischoff gives me yeah, an opportunity at, I will take that opportunity and I will make that title I know the most important title in this company for one whoever I beat off of whatever chump I have to beat for it. Well, folks, I I hate to interrupt that foot the footage you just saw, but I uh, I got a word in from the board of directors that an extra match has been added to the card. All right, after the events of Cashin, Malachi Black went straight to the board of directors. He didn't even go through me, and he has issued a one-on-one -on -one match for to Mr. Brody Lee. And well, hang on, you have footage already. No one told, bothered to tell me. Oh, oh okay then. Um, well, well, I guess uh, we're gonna roll the footage of that, Matt. Roll the footage of, roll the footage of that. I guess. Malachi, I know for a fact you've got, you have issued a challenge for me for a singles match, without even being made official yet. I just just know that's what you're gonna do. And it's because Mr. Brody Lee attacked you in the trios match against the Cult of the Fiend. Well, it's because it's very simple, Malachi. I don't want to be a part of your phony faction wars. I'm not being. I am not going to put myself through multi-man matches for our faction warfare. That is not why I'm here. I'm here for singles gold, and that is what I'm gonna. And that is why I'm here. It's for singles gold. So, when you issue your little challenge to me, I'm going to beat you in minutes. It's going to be quick and swift, and then I'm going to get back to what I'm, I planned on doing from the start, and that is chasing singles titles. So, to all champions out there, I am issuing you a warning. Because Mr. Brody Lee is going to take your title. Brody. You may have your eyes on a different goal. And I have my eyes on a different goal. But what you did to me, making me think you were on my side, part of the house. And then just to attack me. And the other member of the house carrying cross, that's something that cannot go unpunished. And wow, this is a one and done for you. Whatever title you chase after, and then win, I'll be there to make sure that I rip it straight from your hands. And so that you know that the house always wins. Christian Cage, you, your tag, and your best friend Edge. After I'd gone through another hard fought battle against Will Ospreay, you two, you jumped me, and you jumped Sting, all over this, the X Division title. Now, the X Division title is important to me because not only am I the first 
extra division champion here in GWL, but a few more defense of these, and I can turn this into a world title opportunity, so I can take this a message to any challengers after Christian Cage and probably after Edge. Come on, come all, take me on for this title. I will beat you, and I will make sure that I can turn this into the world title. And to whoever that world champion is at the time, you better be ready for the fight of your life. Because Darby Allen will go oh, down swinging, or he will be the new world champion. Darby, I attacked you for a good reason. You have something I want. You have singles gold. While me and my, my best friend here, Edge, we are... Our title is here in this company as frankly disrespectful. And as someone who's had an illustrious career in professional wrestling, I plan on going out on top. And your title is an easier way to get to the top. That X Division title, you don't need a certain amount of defenses, Darby. You just gotta hold it to a certain point. And once I take that title from you, I will hold on to that title. Until that point where I could turn it into the world title. And if I, by some unforsaken miracle, do not win that, well then my best friend right here, your Edge, you will be the one to take take that title from Derby. And then it's up to you to do what you please with it. Whether that be turn it into the world title or give it to me so that I can take the world title. But, whatever the case may be, Darby, you're not walking out with that title. And if you are, well then, it ain't staying for long. Well, folks, I that's going to conclude it here. And we hope to see you all on our next pay-per-view, which will be coming real soon.